beholder of synchronicity. Go to any mental institution that has been abandoned for at least fifty years at the exact moment that the witching hour is at its midpoint. If you walk through the front door and nothing happens, you are safe. However, you must never seek any of the other objects again, or you will be cursed to fail instantly. And that's the best thing that could happen, since it means you will survive. If you walk through and the asylum appears as it did when it was still open, and you see a staff operating the building, you have done it correctly. You will notice that the people who work here are a sickly pale, and that they seem to radiate light. Everything in the hospital seems to be too bright and foggy to discern a definite shape. Ignore the atmosphere, and do not remind the staff that they are damned. Instead, go to the front desk, and ask for a patient who goes by the title of the Holder of Synchronicity. The receptionist will already be laughing before you finish your request, her face slowly warping into a hideous elongated mask of distorted flesh. You will feel the ground under you suddenly shift very violently, and you will fall to the floor. The staff and the patients standing in the hallway will watch you flash by as the entire floor seems to move at a rapid speed towards a door at the end of an endless hallway. You will stop at the door, and the hallway will suddenly be empty. You may only look back once. If you look twice, you will be left there in eternity as a patient in this minor outpost of hell. Open the door before you, and step inside. In the soft padded cell, you will notice a barefooted figure sitting in a straitjacket in the far corner, making a sound that is hard to distinguish from crying and giggling. The figure will ask you what your name is. You must answer with your full name, including all first names, middle names, and maiden names that apply to you. If you leave anything out, the hospital will return to being abandoned, and you will find yourself trapped in the blackened basement with no way to get out, doomed to starve to death in the darkness. If you answer correctly, the holder will begin to talk to you in the form of a pleasant conversation. You will slowly begin to notice that everything the holder says is somehow mocking you in some way. Eventually you will realize that the holder is playing a game with you. When you realize this, the two of you will be standing on the top of the hospital, and the holder will tell you to hold your breath and jump. Many foolish seekers die this way because they don't realize that the holder is merely asking them to jump in place. If you jump in place, the holder will laugh heartily. You have pleased it. Now you may ask, how are they all tied together? The holder will tell you the real secrets of time and the true sources of power in the universe. It is so simple that most cannot even begin to fathom them. Most go mad and leap to their deaths simply to avoid the mental strain of the horrible knowledge that they now possess. If you are weak of heart and mind, this will be your fate as well. When it finishes talking, it will hold out a harmonica. You must take it. When you do, you will be alone on the top of the building. Holding a very old harmonica that is inscribed with several writings in a language that doesn't look human. This harmonica is object 468 of 538, and if you play it, things will start happening the way you want them to. But you will no longer be able to control your own desires. <laughs>